Be on the lookout. Here's some bolos to help you avoid a tax audit. The number one bolo is rounded numbers. Rounded numbers on a tax return could be something that would attract IRS's attention, particularly if you are an unincorporated sole proprietor. It sure sounds like you're guessing. The number two bolo to put yourself on the audit radar would be missing income. If you are a self-employed investor, entrepreneur, or business owner, I hate to tell you this, but in most cases, IRS already knows about your income vis-a-vis -vis the 1099 that you received. So make sure to report all your income, not just some of it, all your income. Third bolo, number three, this would be excessive tax deductions. So, you know, when IRS receives your tax filing, they do make some comparisons, and this is all automated by computer. They make some comparisons between you and all your peers in the same field. So if you have deductions that are off the hook in one area, frankly, if they're off the hook in more than one area, IRS is probably gonna to wanna to talk to you and see your documentation for why you have these excessive deductions. Bolo number four would be taking advantage of excessive or inappropriate tax credits. A very common example of this would be taking the earned income tax credit when you shouldn't necessarily be taking it. Earned income tax credit is a highly audited tax credit. It's typically for people with one or more children where their income is in a certain zone. So generally, if you are experiencing the earned income tax credit, you really need it to survive. And it's, it, it's sort of governmental benefits being returned through the tax system. If you're taking the earned income tax credit but yet your return shows a high income for your business, that could be the sign of a problem.